Once I've introduced an image to my page, the number one question that people always have is how do I resize my image on the page? It's too big, it's too small. If it's too small, uh, you're kind of out of luck because if you try to resize it using HTML, it's gonna look blurry. But if it's way too big, that's fine. There's many different ways for you to resize an image. Now what we're talking about here is content imagery. I just inserted it into my HTML. Later on in the semester, we'll talk more about um, background imagery, which is controlled by CSS. Okay, so how do I change the width and height of my image? Well, first of all, um, there's an attribute for that. <laughs> and the attribute names are width and height. <clears throat> Hope that makes sense there. These ones are pretty straightforward. Now, let me just set one of them. Like, say, um, I'm going to set this to, like, 100. And then let's, I'm going to save, and then let's take, let's take a look. Nice, right? So if I only set one of them, the other one resizes to fit whatever one I set. If I set width and height at the same time, like if I set width to both to, to width and height of 100 and then I refresh, uh, trouble, trouble. So if you don't, um, usually, um, I'm trying to think, so usually it's the width that you're setting, which is why I did that one first. Um, and so it's very common to see just the width set here. If you for some reason needed to set both the width and the height, then you would have to do math to figure out um, what numbers those would have to be, but I don't think you're really going to need to do that. Since we're here in the browser, I want to take just a quick moment to show you another way that you could tell what the actual size of the image is. There's many ways, different ways to do this, but it's very convenient to do it in the browser. So I'm in Chrome. I just right clicked on the snow crash image and a control click on the Mac. And I'm going to say inspect. And this pops up the Chrome inspector and pops it up right to where that image tag is. If I mouse over it, it tells me what the actual size is right now. So it's telling me that's 100 by 150 pixels and then the natural size of it is 334 by 500. So this is an extremely um, convenient way to see both the scaled version and the actual size of the image. So that is how to set attributes for the width and or the height. Uh, now, other things you can do with images. Well, usually I don't like to have the images stuck around in my folder. So in my, if I look at my folder right here, and actually it's probably easier to look at it in brackets over here, I've got interspersed. I've got a folder here. I've got another folder here. I've got an HTML file here and then a, a, an image file. Now picture that you have a page of like 100 images. Now you have 100 image files all interspersed with your folders and file names. That's gross. We're going to clean up in the next video and then, and then we're going to do some exercises um, to, to show how you, would, how you can climb around in your folders once you've set your new folders up.